If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Well, as I always do, I try to let you know every time I discover a campsite that has been trashed or articles in the newspaper where campgrounds are being closed down because of trash and bad behavior. Because I think it's a, as this channel grows, I hope that we all become a community of, of like-minded people, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. And where we all want to keep these campgrounds clean and beautiful. So here we are, we're at the Florida uh, Apalachicola National Forest. And hunt season has just ended. So all the hunters are starting to pack up their stuff and, and get their trailers out. Apalachicola National Forest allows hunters, or anybody for that matter, to stay three months in their campground during hunting season. Well, so these hunters come out here and they, they park their campers and trailers. A lot of these hunters will set up huge uh, campsites. Some of them will take up two, three campsites sometimes. They'll put tarps out and big canopies that made out of tarps and campfires. And I mean, it becomes a real tent city type of thing. Again, I don't have a problem with this as long as they're not damaging trees. And sure enough, people will put you know, eye bolts and different things in trees, and that, that's discouraging. I wish they wouldn't do that. They'll wrap ropes around trees. Now, I can't find any regulations on Apalachicola, but a lot of national forests don't let you put ropes around trees because they don't want you to damage the trees. A lot of times when these campgrounds are finally uh, disassembled, it's an all-day project. So they come in. And, and they just start tearing things down and getting their canopies and tarps and everything put away. And then they have this trash pit that they don't seem to understand they have to take with them. Last year we saw it and the campers packed up a huge bag of trash. Now this particular campground did not have any trash cans. So nobody maintained the campgrounds. It was a free campsite. That's the thing. These are free campgrounds. And if we continue to destroy the campgrounds, we're going to lose them. I've showed it several times. They shut them down. So anyway, last year he just put his huge trash bag out there next to the privy and expected someone to pick it up. Even though the sign clearly said, pack it in, pack it out. Well, this particular campground has bear-proof trash cans and volunteers. And when I say volunteers, it's interesting how this works. It's, it's a great system. Volunteers actually come around and pick up the trash, not taxpayer funded employees, but volunteers. What it is is campsite hosts get jobs in the Apalachicola National Forest and they don't get paid, but they do get to stay in the National Forest in that campground for extended periods, whatever their contract is. So this guy yesterday, so yesterday he decided to break down. He brought a buddy out and they spent all day tearing it down. The tarps that he had used to make canopies so he could do his uh, campfires underneath it, he followed up and put behind the bear proof trash cans. After he filled the bear proof trash can, I mean, he absolutely filled it. So now this, this particular campground also has a lot of boaters that come down. It's got a boat dock. And the boaters are very clean. They'll come up from their trip out on the lake and they pack up all the trash and they put it into the uh, bear proof trash can. Well, today the boaters can't even put the trash in it. They come over, they're just stuffed full from this guy's junk, trash. And it got so full he started putting trash in behind it. He's got metal bars, I would assume from like chairs or something, stacked behind the trash can. When he pulls out, he leaves a good amount of stuff. I mean, we're talking potting soil. Why does anybody have potting soil out here? I, mean, I was very confused by this. But he had potting soil, some water jugs, a logging chain, a drum, like a really bomb, 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 bomb drum. So he left that on the picnic table, left some two by fours on the picnic table. He has drilled holes in the trees with the eye bolt and put eye bolts in there. I assume to hold his tarps up so he could have this canopy. I did get his license plate number off his camper because I just assumed, I just had this feeling that he was going to leave junk behind. 
So, one, you know, a few days ago I got his license plate number. Now the question is, is do I call the Rangers and let them know that this guy left all this trash behind so they can fine him or, you know, give him a, uh, a ticket or whatever. Or make him come out and clean it up. Well, that's kind of my fear, is if I do that, he is going to be suspicious of the people in the campground. And then I would fall underneath that suspicion. And since I'm parked right next to him, it's quite probable he will want to get mad at me for turning him in. So think about that before you just call the, the police or the rangers and tell them that somebody left trash out. At free campsites in the National Forest, where, you know, you, you have a lot of freedom, but with that freedom becomes, a lot of your safety concerns becomes your responsibility. So you always have to think, is it safe to do this? Is it safe to do that? Because the most dangerous animal out here are human beings. So I didn't call, I did not call the rangers, even though I had a license plate number, I gave up on that idea. And instead, I'm just gonna clean this mess up. Now I have no place to put this trash in my camper. I mean, it's not like I got a truck or anything. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get it all packed up in trash bags and put it in the camper and throw it away. What I'm suggesting to everybody is whenever you go to a city park or a campground or a national park or a national forest, take a little extra time, if you would, and just pick some trash up that isn't yours. Uh, you know, as a community, maybe, you know, with 8,000, 9,000 subscribers, as a community, we can start making a difference. And as my channel grows and the more I talk about this, maybe we can make a big difference. If we all just, you know, spend a, an hour one weekend and just go to a, a park and clean up, maybe we can keep these places open because trash and vandalism is the number one reason from what I can see is why these things are getting shut down. Thanks for watching. Click like if you liked the video and happy travels.